Do you want to know the secret to that celebrity red carpet glow? I'm here to show you. Best part is you only need two products. The first product is Scott Barnes Body Bling. And the next product is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist. First things first, apply your body bling. And once that's rubbed in, it's already going to give you an amazing glow. But we're about to kick it up a notch. With your Neutrogena, you just get it and spray it directly on top. And you can see that amazing glow that is going to stay like that the whole night. Try it out. Celebrity makeup artist tricks. Ariel is Kylie Jenner's makeup artist. He likes to use a translucent powder to set the brows in place. This softens the brow and sets the product in place all day long. Next we have Mario. He is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. He likes to usually do a cream eyeshadow and follow with a powder shadow. This creates texture on the eyelids. Next is Wayne Goss. He likes to wrap tissue paper around a wet blender. This will help soak up any excess oils on the face. Follow for part two. moisturizing take some translucent powder i usually use the fit me one and i just lightly dab it all over my face not too much then take some setting spray it could be any setting spray i usually use the nyx one after the setting spray take a primer and just put your does this work or is it complete bullshit well the answer is it totally works it's actually a very common makeup technique among makeup artists but it's not going to work for everybody if you have drier or more mature skin it may not be the best technique for you First, I'm going to apply a serum and a moisturizer. Really going to protect our hydration barrier. This is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. And the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Moisturizer. Let that absorb for like two minutes. This is the big ass mega powder brush from It Cosmetics. Going into my favorite Fit Me. And we are setting that moisturizer very lightly. Gonna spray our face with a setting spray. Really try to pick a setting spray for longevity. This is the Milk Hydro Grip. Now apply primer. I recommend a pore filling primer for this. This is Rare Beauty. This is essentially going to extend the lasting power of your makeup. this video so many times that I kind of want to sum it up for you guys. And if you didn't know, Harouche is one of the Kardashians makeup artists and she's done a ton of other celebrities as well. So she actually starts off by cream highlighting and contouring. And this is all the spots where she applied that light color. And she goes in with a stippling brush like this and diffuses the edges. Now she goes in with nose contour and she says to always connect it to the front of your brow. And this is one of my favorite steps, but she uses that same cream contour on her eyes. 
As for her actual cheekbones, she says to start at the top and just swipe down. And this is the placement of all that contour. Now, just blending all of that out, don't worry if it looks kind of crazy for now, it's all gonna come together. Now I'm going in with foundation. Just basically putting it everywhere where you didn't put product yet. Using the foundation as like an in-between shade for that light and dark shade you put on earlier. So this is what it looks like so far. I'm gonna finish up the rest of this in part two. I'm glad you made it to part two because we're clearly not done yet. So I already showed you how to blend out the face, but I wanted to show you how to blend out the nose. Basically, we're gonna go from this to this with a foundation brush. Whatever excess you have on your brush, literally just press it right over top and you wanna be flicking in like upwards motions, if that makes sense. You just wanna make sure that the cream contour is sitting on your face for long enough before you blend it out. This is what it looks like without any powder on. You could literally just set your face with translucent powder and not have to put on anything else. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just setting my face with Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I love that it looks like I already have eyeshadow on. So this is what it looks like after setting it just with translucent setting powder. You could leave it at this or you can go in with more powders now. So this is the final look. Let me know if I should do more of these kind of videos. has never looked so good. I kid you not, neither the bomb.com. These are from Shein. Basically, it's a makeup sponge, but wait. It's got one, two, three. It's got like a million different sides to it. So this was earlier that day, and honestly, I was shook. There's literally a side for your foundation, for your bronzer, for your bake, for your highlight, for your blush, and even your brow. This is with beauty mode off. Thank me later. I just wanted to show you guys the difference. Are you freaking kidding me? I have not been this excited about a mascara in a long time. And if this mascara can make my microscopic lashes look like hers, game over. This is the new Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Let's try it out. Okay. Go. One coat, two coats. Okay, like what? Do you want to get the most amazing blushing glow this summer? I'm going to show you. For this, you're going to need three products. Your favorite highlighter and blush as well as a high quality skin oil like this one here from Eve Skin. First thing you wanna do is start scraping out some of your blush and your highlight. Put that onto a palette or the back of your hand as well as three to four drops of your favorite skin oil. After it's nicely mixed, this is what you should have. Now I'm gonna show you how to put it on. Okay, so on this side of my face, I've just gone in with a layer of foundation, concealer, and a cream bronzer. So now we're gonna put on the blush. Okay, so now with a damp sponge, load up your sponge with the oil and then just start tapping. Now I like to go very intense. Then after you're happy with the blend, this is what you're left with. This amazing, beautiful, model-esque glow. And if this is for a summer look, I wouldn't even set it with powder. Try it out and let me know how you go.